Hey guys, I am here with uh, another amazing project at the Intel Science and Engineering Fair. I'm joined with uh, Kevin Carroll. Kevin, thank you for uh, joining us. Um, I wondered if you could uh, tell us a little bit about your project. We, we've heard a couple of things here about autism, but you're taking a different uh, spin on things and not just the autistic children themselves, but parents. Yeah, that's right, Chris. Um, my, 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 my project primarily focuses on reducing parental stress in parents of kids with autism. What I did was I developed a survey for parents of kids with autism to take to identify the primary stressors in their lives and to identify what the resources that they want most included in these parent support groups. And some of these uh, stressors are, are far beyond just dealing with my child, but it's also you know, familial issues and, and uh, making ends meet, et cetera. Can you tell me a little bit about some of, some of the uh, stressors that they're dealing with? Yeah, some of the biggest stressors that these parents experience include like worrying about the future. Like most, most parents, they report that they're really worried about what's going to happen when they're gone, what's going to happen to their child. They're going to go into respite care, or is a family member going to take care of them, so on and so forth. Other parents, they report a lack of like having adequate uh, fam familial and social support as being a major stressor. Having uh, adequate financial support is a bi is a bigger problem for some of the poorer families. And uh, some of the resources that parents most want included uh, in these in these new parent support groups include resources for reducing anxiety, resources for uh, planning for the future, and resources for coping with stress. Okay. So, how many uh, uh, respondents did you have to your to study? Okay, I just I used a list of contact information that I developed for uh, autism support groups from all over the country. A total of sixteen hundred and thirty eight support groups. This new survey uh, received a grand, a grand total of six hundred and eighteen responses. And between this survey and the survey that I did last year, uh, I received a grand total between the two of them a total of 2,063 responses. Excellent. So we've got a really good inset um, to, to determine you know, what some of these real categorical needs are for parents. Um, this is also a bit, bit of a personal project for you as well. Uh, I believe you, you told me you know, yourself and, and other people in your family uh, have a very close tie with, with autism as well. How's, how has your family responded to seeing some of the, the, the uh, results here? Has it been confirmed that, yeah, those are things that we, we worry about? Yeah, um, as someone who has autism and as the brother of two siblings with autism, I can tell you it's a lot, it's, it really affects the entire family, like at almost every level. And we responded to this very well. Some of the findings that I've identified, like how, something, how some resources like mindfulness and positive psychology, how they can be very useful toward reducing familial, stre familial stress, we've actually incorporated some of those into our family routines. Like mindfulness is now a daily part of my routine. Like every, like every time I feel a little, like really stressed, sometimes I just take five minutes to just completely empty my mind and just meditate. And, I find that those things have been very, very effective in reducing stress in my family at a personal level. Excellent. So um, what were some of the, the conclusions that you have here? Are, are we looking at a new model for support groups? Or are we looking at new things being incorporated into the, the support ecosystem for the autism families? Yes. Yes, Chris. I think there actually is a new model emerging here. I think this new model would include the things that most support groups have normally included, like resources for treating the symptoms of autism, meaning like applied behavioral analysis, social skills classes, you know what I mean. And also including uh, resources for treating parental stress, such as mindfulness workshops, positive psychology courses, exercise programs, things like that. And also including, in addition to that, uh, uh, sibling support groups for typically developing siblings to better educate them about autism and help them enhance their communication skills. I think this I think is this kind of holistic, family-oriented approach that can actually yield an optimal outcome, not only for the child with autism, but also for the parents. Were there any surprises uh, on something that, that you didn't think might be a stressor, but you found you know, numerically ended up being something? Um, something I anticipated being a stressor was like transportation issues, like for, for my family personally, arranging when we have to be somewhere and be elsewhere, like when my brother has to go to his group, when my other brother has to go to his group, that has been a stressor for my family personally, but I found that was actually the least stressful aspect <laughs> in other families. Wow. I didn't expect that at all. 
Well, you know, it's, it's glad to hear that there are, every family's got an anomaly of, of some sort. Or, yeah, absolutely. Or another. Well, um, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, not only share your experience, but share your passion for this. Um, I love seeing the results, and hopefully in the near future, we'll see an entire new model based upon research uh, like Kevin's here um, and that we're seeing at ISEF. So stay tuned. We've got a, a ton more experience, uh, experiments and projects to, to look at here at the Intel Science and uh, Engineering Fair. Kevin, thank you again. Oh, it's my pleasure. We look forward to seeing more. Thank you.